The final topic in this section to discuss is going to be the well-architected framework. After migrating the workload to AWS, we need to ask an important question. Is this the best architecture for the application on AWS? Am I taking the full potential benefit and value of being in the cloud? Remember, in the previous lesson on migration strategies, we stated that the lift and shift strategy is the most commonly used strategy because it accelerates the migration. But this simply means that you are replicating an on-premises architecture to the cloud. Definitely, this will not be the best form for that application on the cloud and it can be better. The well-architected framework is designed to help you ensure that your application runs in a reliable, efficient, secure, and cost-efficient way on the cloud. Based on best practices, the well-architected framework will compare your current architecture to a set of design principles that belong to six different perspectives, or what we call the pillars of the framework. We will see each pillar in more detail shortly. The process usually starts by identifying a specific workload and planning to undergo a well-architected review. You then use the AWS Management Console to launch the well-architected tool, define in it the workload details, then start answering the questions covering the different design principles of all six pillars. Upon completing the questionnaire, you will get a report of the findings and the issues that have been identified by the tool as deviations from the recommendations and best practices. You use this report to start putting an action plan to start your remediation and enhancement actions to optimize the application state and architecture. The first pillar is named Operational Excellence. It is used to improve your processes and procedures and make sure that you rely more on automation rather than following manual procedures. The second pillar is the security pillar. It is focusing on making sure that you are applying security best practices, applying security at every layer, and protecting your data at rest and in transit. The third pillar is the reliability pillar. It is assessing your architecture's ability to recover from service disruptions and failures and its ability and readiness to scale horizontally to increase aggregate system availability. The fourth pillar is performance efficiency. This pillar checks your architecture if it is capable to maintain the same performance in case of the demand changes or technologies evolve. The fifth pillar is about cost optimization. This pillar ensures that you are getting all of the previous benefits, but still at the lowest cost possible. It ensures that you have no waste or idle resources and ensures that the organization has started to adopt a proper consumption model across its various teams to maintain cost efficiency. The last and final pillar is the sustainability pillar. This pillar ensures that you understand the downstream impact of your workload from environmental perspectives, and try to minimize this impact by maximizing utilization and reducing waste of resources.